With our image imported, we're going to want to go ahead and save our project. In order to save our project, we want to come up here to File, and just come down to Save Sketch. And you can see that we have two options. We can save it locally, or we can save it to our A360 drive. Now the only way to save to our A360 drive is if we are logged in. And you can see here if I click on it, and I'm not logged in, it gives me this message here. It tells me I need to sign in. So I can go ahead and sign in right here. I just put in my username for my Autodesk account, hit next, and then it'll ask me for my password and I can put that in. Typically, when you start a project though, you just want to go ahead and sign in right off the bat. Just come up here to sign in and click here and go ahead and, and go through that. Once you're signed in, you'll be able to click up here and see that you're signed in. And then you can come over here and save your sketch to your A360 drive. Now because I've already saved this out there once, it just automatically took me right to it. If I hadn't saved out there yet, I'd see something that looks more like this. So I'll go save sketch as to A360 drive and it asks me for the name of the sketch. I can also save locally and typically I do. I can go ahead and save locally if I've already saved out there locally, which I have, it'll just automatically go ahead and save it. Now that we've saved our project, we're ready to orient our grid. You can see right now that our grid is running a north-south direction. North-south, east-west. We need it to rotate a little bit to align better for the way we're going to orient our structure here. So what we want to do is right-click anywhere in space and click this button here to set the axis. And you can see it's allowing me to set a center point for the axis to rotate on. But another thing that's happening here, you can see that as I move around, it's snapping to the grid. Now, snapping to the grid is a good thing in a lot of cases, but in this case, it's kind of annoying and it's sort of getting in my way. So I'm going to go ahead and escape out of this command and go up and turn that grid off for a little bit. So I just hit escape and then I come up here to settings. And I come down and uncheck the box next to snap to grid. Now, I'm going to come back into my view and right click and go ahead and hit set axes. Now as I move that around, you see it's moving around nice and smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to set that grid right on this corner, because I'm going to try to align my grid with this feature here. So I'm going to go ahead and set my grid here. There's my center of rotation. By left clicking, I set my center of rotation. And then I'm just going to come over here and left click and hold, and drag that axis around. Again, I'm going to align it with this feature here, and then release the mouse button. Now I'm going to zoom out and just double click to accept that orientation. And you can see that the whole grid snapped to that orientation. Now as I start drawing, it's going to be drawing to that orientation. So let's go ahead and move out to our 3D view. Left click here and zoom out. And sometimes it's easy to get a little disoriented with the grid running this way and the site oriented the way it is. I like to put my north arrow on here and just keep it on all the time. And you do that by coming up here to the settings, click on settings and come down to visual style, and then just come down here and turn on the north arrow. I really like that because no matter how I zoom in or anything, it just keeps that down in the corner. And as I orbit around, you can see that it's always telling me which direction is north. And it just helps me to stay oriented. Now here we see our green, our red, our blue axes. So we have our X, Y, Z axes. I'm just going to refer to them as green, red, and blue. I don't really like having that visible all the time. Sometimes it's helpful. Most of the time I like to have that shut off. So I'm going to go up here to Settings, and I'm going to come down here to Visual Style, and down here to Axis, and I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. Now you can leave it on if you like, but for me, it just gets in the way a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off.